little delay there. <laughs> Border lady told us to like, get out of the van, show our passports, go inside. Had a few questions for us. But the touring van is officially invaded the States. Woo! And Joe, what about you? There's some questions about whether or not uh, they should be letting us in the country, but they did. The what fools. Oh, almost forgot to remove some... Uh, what was that? Some drug paraphernalia? Maybe oh, some drug what? paraphernalia of uh, the not so legal kind. Uh, but luckily we remembered the duty free shop in between Canada and the US. What was your uh, first border experience like, Rachel? It sucked. It sucked. <laughs> I'm scared shitless, I almost hate my pants. They put you on the spot there. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, you feel like prisoners. It's kind of messed up. What did I ever do? Nutty. What happened to your bananas there, too? The dogs ate the bananas. The dogs ate the bananas. The dogs ate the bananas. Fucking good cops. And now we're on Route 95 towards Boston. And we're but then we had a minor breakdown. Car in garage. Car in garage. What happened last night? Yeah. A, breakdown. a little breakdown. Steering power breakdown. steering went out. It sucked. We stayed in the hotel, then we've got showers. Set to go to Boston, only four hours away. Four hours from Boston? Yeah, boy! Woo! Meet Pete Joe. Organizing. <laughs> Let the hitchhiker organize the van. This is a whole new experience. How's the sound, Jason? It's here. No Look at that. Sound. It turns. Woo! That's some power steering right there. I hope it doesn't break again. <laughs> Amen to that. Are we making good time? We're making excellent time. We're going to be in Boston in about an hour. Fuck yeah. But we're rocking out to Pearl Jam the whole way in. We're pumped for the show. We still got some uh, deckling to do for the van. And uh, other than that, it's time to party. It's time to party and meet the fans. First day of the show, Boston. TD Bank North Garden. Doing some decorating on the van here. Newfie Joe adding a little Boston flavor in the van. Damn straight. Looking the TD Garden is going to rock tonight. Looking good in blue. Here we are back in the van. Drinking a beer. Back in the van warming up for the, the pre warm up for the next show. Did some uh, taping today. Mm. Yeah. Decorated the van. We finished decorating the van. Finally. Sure, uh, TV curtains. Right there, baby. It's all going, going down. We're just chilling out by the shady parking lot available, I'm sure of it. <laughs> yeah. Buddy's rummaging through the vehicles. Yeah, he what was the guy like? As soon as the people leave, he, he jumps into the trunks and goes through everything they own. It's really <laughs> bizarre. Is our van going to be safe here? The van Probably will be not. safe here. Probably not. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Tires might be slashed. Tires might be slashed, might be completely got as fuck it. Well, I'll hitchhike. Well, oh, hitchhike. Yeah. Yeah. You prepared to do that? No. <laughs> no. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Okay, we're in Boston, May 25th. Second show of Boston. Pre show. The cover band of Pearl Jam playing right now. Just chilling out with some friends here. We got Bobby. Where are you from, Bobby? Providence. Providence. Rhode Island. Saw your 50th show last night? Yes, last night. Classic 50th show. What song do you want to hear coming up? Well, supposedly they sound check at least. Uh, <laughs> Is that going to happen or what? Supposedly they sound check at least uh, last night. Maybe it could be just fucking with us though. It could be, but where else? Uh, where else to break it out than in Boston? How many more shows are you seeing this tour? Uh, let's see, we got tonight, then two Philly, last Jersey. And the two gorges are six more. Yeah, for right now. Gorge, that's gonna be big. Oh, the gorge is gonna be killer. <laughs> From Milwaukee. Jersey. Jersey and Milwaukee. Milwaukee. What are you guys doing in Boston tonight? Look at road trip, the whole first leg. The whole first leg. We're here to catch Drop the Leaf. Chicago through Jersey. Last night I was banging. Hearing rats is probably the highlight of my life. You gotta make a sign. If they're gonna sound check a song, they gotta play it. They played every other song they sound checked except for Leash last night. So I've been.
told. I don't have any sources, but I've been told. We still got another like 12 shows to go to. We got the whole rest of the first leg, then St. Paul, then the Summer Fest, and then Gorge. We're gonna hit up roughly and hammer roughly like 20 shows deep for this tour alone. Nothing else to do this summer. They actually did end up playing Leash for the first time in 12 years. And we all loved it. So happy to see that one too. And, in and oh man, those, I was just so happy to see those. What's your favorite part? After seven? I don't know. I was the, I the, the show anxiety of knowing what Ed might do next when he was oh, running around on stage and changing his mind. Then Leash came on. That was mm, might be my favorite part. Although I was really happy about Indifference. Really, really happy about that. No skeleton smiles. Oh, smile was awesome. There was something else happening at the Boston shows. Brad and Brian had made some t-shirts featuring the guitar picks from Mike McCready and Stone Gossard. It started out as something just for friends, but in Boston, it blew up. They were donating all the money generated to the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation of America. People were hounding us, asking where we got the shirts from. So they quickly produced more shirts to meet the demand, and in doing so, raised more money for Mike's favorite charity. Overall, it was a great start to the tour.